Yeah, you know, honestly, if, if Sourdough was a Zelda, I would not be surprised if they're just using Pally now. Um, like, it just, I, sometimes you'll see that happen, um, where you sort of did your thing with the character you decided to mean, and, and you wanted to rep, and then eventually you're just like, all right, I'm going to play a character that's really good and takes a lot less effort to use. And I would say Palutena is one of those characters. It's not necessarily that's a lot less effort, as much as it's like you, you, you are, you're, you're not punished by the limitations of your character. Like you just have more leeway um, when, when you pick a character like Palutena because if you talk to a lot of people they'll still tell you like, you know, Palutena is very honest, very uh, fundies heavy character, which I would agree with generally. Um, there are some moves in that mo in, in that toolkit that are a little bit questionable in that regard, but uh, you know, speaking of questionable characters, yeah, Joss Marlu is playing Agus and I'm trying to make it work with Pyra. I know Pyra is, is usually the slow, stinky one, but <laughs> <laughs> I know some people it's, are really trying to make it work. It's kind of like a comparison of the pop tooth, right? Because like you mentioned it, uh, Pyra often is uh, a little bit more just like not really too much shenanigans in Pyra's kit. I mean, like there's shenanigans, character, characters, top ten characters in this game. Both of these, uh, both of them are, but he just and uh, and Pyra. But Palu's not like robbing your stocks at 60. She's just invalidating a lot of your approaches, counter zoning you, like, and eating you up. Like, winning a lot of trades and winning a lot of conversation matches. He just, on the other side, has a lot of that shenanigans. <laughs> Mithra runs in your face, it's all their like, incredibly privileged frame data, like, gets out of dodge with, um, with Foresight. Then switches to Pyra, who can kill you at 60 with things like down air up smash, the down air into basically imagination, um, ridiculous tech chases. Like this character, like, they're both, they're both broken, just in different ways. And now they get to see who's more broken, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it is interesting. Some of the, some of the frame data on on Mithra is to me, I'm just like this is this is out of control. But then like you do see sometimes just the struggle to kill with her, and you're like, all right, I, 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 I get it. Uh, but one thing's for sure on both the characters is they both have insane uh, range. So that that is one thing very much working for them. Um, and, yeah, that move is also pretty busted. Uh, it hits in all kinds of crazy ways, but... Sourdough's going to need a little bit more damage before Joss Marlu's going to be able to kill with that. And Joss Marlu's really not in a bad place at the moment, uh, especially with a character like like Pyra. You know, this, this could be... In, in a moment's notice, like an F smash, like that that F smash reaches forever far too. Yeah, I mean, Pyra's got okay. infinite more range. Uh, gotta love geometry, you guys. Yeah. That <laughs> <laughs> All right, finally, ending that up to like you know covers that whole arc. It's caught up to if it kills, and oh boy, does it kill. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely does kill. And that's the thing is, even Pyra's normals like will kill you at percents that you wouldn't expect normals to kill you at. But I, I guess that that's sort of the price, or sort of the benefit you get when you're so slow. Um, it it is interesting how they balance these characters because uh, they each they really do each have some BS, and then like you know the shortcomings are there. And it's got to be able to to know when to switch. Yeah, the, the recoveries are not good. So that, that that that's another thing to keep in mind. I feel like that's a common. Like, quote unquote weakness that are, are provided to a lot of really uh, strong characters. I mean, the common comparison I guess I can make is uh, to Smashville Cloud. Like, oh yeah, this character can get like Edge Guard in two frame like super easily. Like, it's it's really free if you get them off stage. But how do you get them off stage? Yeah, how do you get them <laughs> off stage, right? How, how do you do that? Especially like with like Myth Mithra, especially. Uh, you know, that that's a character that could literally just sort of mash. Up till down till down till up till until it eventually hits and then you're forty percent down the road. Um, but all right, so we're sticking the steam stage. Uh, I guess Joss Marley figuring you know the stage not the problem. I just got to play a little better, and that might be the case. I think that was a game that was a lot closer than it let on because it sort of you know Zardo ran away in the end. But Joss out here still fighting strong. Um, and Joss Marlu actually has done pretty well in these brackets, so at least a couple times that they've entered. They're gonna have to find, you know, Palutena is not an easy character to play against, um, especially in this atmosphere, so see what they're able to get done with this game, too. Um, oh, that looked very strange. 
aim, and you have got plenty of time to, to work around it. But how dash attacks like super minus, and then you have the added like foresight buff. Like you could have gotten whatever you chose, and chose dash attacks. Not a bad starter. Uh, a lot of the times, Mith Mithra can put you into tech chases really easily, and then cover said uh, options either just on pure reactions or the distance of photon edge. But hey, like, he's switching to. He I both like and dislike how he's switching in a lot of times because he'll switch, he'll switch it at good timings. It's like when he's okay, like you got it, dude. <laughs> he'll switch at good timings, but he'll do it very regimented, uh, regimentedly. That's not a word, but regimented. But you see, oh, I'll get my, I'll, I'll take him from zero to ninety or a hundred, depending on when Mithra starts to like not hit reliable links and starts to not uh, really kill. And then I'll switch to Pyra, and when I take the stop, then I'll switch back. It's like, yeah, that's good, that's fine, but it doesn't, it doesn't give you that extra level of oomph, I guess, because you're always gonna be standard if you play to the certain roles of the character. Both of them have developed kits, and throwing out those, and showing off that development is what makes them makes them both unique and makes the character broken, but not broken is still the recovery is not too broken. <laughs> yeah, it is it is very exploitable that recovery, like, like to, to say the least. Um, but I mean, not not before the damage was done. I mean, Josh Marley has a fantastic lead right now, um, and is in a really good position to to really drive it forward with possibly a full stock lead if they're able to find just yeah anything on Palatine at this point. It could be a normal. Down air, you're probably going to see Jaws Marlu fishing for that a little bit because it does have such good range and it is relatively safe. I mean, it, it's it is pretty good. It's yeah, pretty it's a good, good move. It'll kill you. Like it, it's good. Good move out of ten. Gotta say, that's safe. Uh, down air is minus nine, which isn't. That's pretty safe. But yeah, you, like once you get to those high percents, Mithril will start killing, so you can play the better character in neutral just by looking for the straight hit. That was their chance. That was the chance for Sourdough to get back in, into this game, like just with a snap of his fingers, but just missing down tilt. Which you missed your chance, and now Mithra's back on stage, running, running circles around you. Like it's, it's difficult. It's difficult to play around this character because they can be on you in a moment's notice. And Palu's a fast character. Yeah, she is very fast, and like the one thing these characters do have in common is is that nair where you'll get caught up in it, and it'll hit you a lot of times, and it combos into itself. But uh, yeah, speaking of things comboing in, uh, that is going to be Joss Marlu finding good old reliable down air into up smash, which is that, again that dare Pyra is a really good move. Um, does like I'm pretty sure that's a true combo. Um, oh yeah. Which is insane. 66. Dude, consider, consider, yeah, wow, you're did. totally right. Yep, that, that is a confirm at 66. 66. And that, that is the thing about <laughs> these characters. Like, the, like, the fact that Pyra could even do that is, is incredible. Like, there's not a lot of characters that have, like, something quite like that. I know a lot of people say if you're getting hit by that dare, you're doing something wrong, and they might be right. But, but the thing is, is, like... I don't know, like, the fact that it still connects is, 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 is something. But alright, yeah, we got a... Is this the first Game 3 we've had today? Question mark? Uh, no, 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 no. We, we definitely know. We had one early. We had we had Ursa Major and MK Theo. That, the, the that, that, that was the first Yeah, literally was the first three. match. Okay. Alright, well... Thank you. This is going to be the first... The or the, the last technical... Technically... Okay, yeah, there, there's a Zelda, by there's the way. So you were 100% correct on that. See, I see. I told you. Of course, I had to be. All right. <laughs> so, Sourdough, point out the Zelda. I'm. Th this is the main. I'm gonna assume that they're just trying to make the Palutena work to make their lives a lot better, but probably use the Zelda in the clutch, which you know a lot of times these character or formerly character specialists that now have secondaries will often do. That's a, a tactic we used to see a lot in Web JP when uh, he was trying to make the ZSS work. Would it's kind of slowly going away from Lucas. And then it would just sort of clutch out some sets just to get some more games in as DSS later in the bracket and then eventually stop doing that. So I don't know if that's a similar thing we're seeing here with Sourdough or if it's just like, you know, this is just the main. I always wanted to try Palatine. It's different for everyone. 
I, I always feel like picking up a secondary, in, especially in a game with uh, as massive a roster, like it's worth it. It's worth it to just try other characters, see what uh, see what works with your playstyle and what works with your your character's matchups. So and like how you approach them. And also, like, Zelda's a really solid counterpick character because she's so frustrating to deal with, especially if uh, Smashville is left open, because you're just dominating center for basically free. <laughs> and when you can cheat, uh, not cheat, I guess, but when you can take games like this just in a close game three and have, um, like, the ability just to pull out matches and pull out games, like, out of your back pocket because you have the right counterpick in the right situation. Like, that's really strong. It's what keeps other characters like uh, the Belmonts in the metagame. Because when they win, they win hard. And Zelda wins real hard on this stage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she does. Uh, although Joss Marley's keeping things really, really manageable. Um, really in a position here to even things up and does. That's just going to be Epto on the ledge, which is super going to kill. Um, with Pyra, and now looking to take a lead, possibly, if, if, if they could find it. There's, there's a lead somewhere. That Photon Edge was daring, but you kind of have to like it. You, making Zelda feel uncomfortable in her space is so important. It's why fast characters generally do well against her. She is kind of sluggish to move around. Set play is rather important. So Mithra is gonna give her a hard time, oh. and then Pyra can can scoop up stocks if he gets, if she gets the chance. Yeah, that oh, was. Angle. You see the, the little angle he did? Yeah, to get, that was. Like, to the jump. Yeah, that was <laughs> definitely something. All right, so this is one of those critical points, and it looks like Joss Marlu is gonna just try to tack on a little bit of percent here with Mithra, or maybe just trying not to die, but despite the best efforts. I'm gonna go down swinging anyways, and now this is where things get very, very pivotal. Uh, we're gonna have to see if Joss Marlu could, yeah, maybe land one of those uh, dare confirms again or anything. Oh my God! Almost did it. That platform, <laughs> the, the tech on the platform actually saved Sourdough. Yeah, the platform giveth and it taketh away. Yeah, that's it. And that's one of those times where Joss Marlu's probably just like, yeah, damn. Because <laughs> like that, that was sort of in the bag, and now he's gonna have to dig deep. Uh, nearly a full stock behind here, and this is game three. I mean, this is the last little bit, and Sourdough looks like, uh, yeah, I got it wrapped up. So, have you lightning kick and then things? Just we looked in control, especially after losing, uh, after losing his first stock, Sourdough put together like oh this is how he wants to play against Zelda he's trying to get over Phantom and come down with one of these safe aerials and I can play around that. I can play around that infinitely like, Zelda's got a really good out of shield game really good at stuffing uh, approaches and the first empty hop he saw lightning kick like, gone. <laughs> yeah so that's gonna be Sourdough moving on to play against Rivers in winner's quarters I don't think we're actually gonna see that one um, we are probably headed, whether it be to, to Gao and some guy. Dude, these are... I love when this happens.